Maria and this is Cook Casa. I've been asked many times to share some of the recipes from my Mediterranean restaurant Casa based in Bury St Edmunds. I'm also hoping that these videos will give you the confidence to get into your own kitchens and cook. Now although I'm a chef all of these are going to be filmed in a home kitchen with all the stuff you will find at home in your kitchen. So let's get started. Today we're going to make a really simple tomato sauce. This can be used for meatballs or for just simply on pasta. First of all, we're going to cut an onion. Simple, but there's some easier ways of doing it than you might be aware. So take that end off, pop it over like that, and then cut down because you've got a flat edge. I always leave the little root bit on because it gives me something to hold on to. In this particular instance, there's not a lot of root there. If you're struggling because it's tight skinned, you can always take a little bit extra off like that, which gives you somewhere to get your fingers into to help peel it. So we're going to chop the onion. We're then going to put this in with spices into a pan with chopped tomatoes and a little bit of salt. Um, salt is down to very much down to personal taste. I leave that to you. And then we've got, um, you can use water or you can use wine. Um, the beauty of putting wine into the sauce means that you've got an excuse to have a glass of wine with it because there's always some left. So here we go. That's all now peeled and there we go. Get rid of that. Make sure you haven't got any of the bits of root and things on there out of the way. And then to cut, we're just going to hold like that. And then if you come in now and have a little closer look, and then we'll go across that way. And then I said, I've got the root here to hold on to so I can get all the onion chopped. Now, as this is going to be blitzed in the pan, don't actually have to cut it that fine, but it will cook quicker for being fine. And again, we've got the edge of the onion there. So we've got all the onion in the pan, and then we're going to take our tin of chopped tomatoes, pop those in there, and then we can either use half a tin of water or a mixture of water and wine or sometimes for pasta or wine can be nice. Then we're using half a stock cube. I'm using vegetable stock cube because this is perfect then for vegan meatballs, vegetable meatballs, or meat meatballs. And then we've got a pinch of salt. Again, be, bear in mind that your stock cube has got a fair amount of salt in it. So again, it's very much down to personal taste. Now I need a teaspoon of smoked paprika, but this is too small to put a teaspoon in, so I'm going to use two half teaspoons. So two of those which makes one teaspoon, and then just half a teaspoon of the cumin. And that literally is it. So all we're going to do now is give it a little stir around, and then we're going to put it on the cooker for about 10 minutes. So we'll bring it to the boil and then turn it right down so it just bubbles away gently. If it starts to dry out or thicken up too much, just add a little bit more water. So I pop the lid on, the sauce, so that it didn't dry out. And now I'm just going to blitz it. I've got a hand blender, a stick blender, and basically you're going to try not to splash yourself. And all I'm going to do, as you can see in there, it's all now softened. That's cooked for a good 10 minutes. And then we're just going to blitz that. Okay, so that is all the onions blitzed down into a smooth paste with the tomatoes and your easy tomato sauce is all ready to go. Dress pasta with it, add meatballs to it.